already out here clearing the fence row. We got done over a quarter mile. We got this is our fourth pile. We got one down there and then there and then there's one you can't see on the other side of that far pile. Um, had anywhere from like two to four people working on it this week. This is our fifth day here on uh, Friday 22nd. About to get it finished up. Just got this little short bit here to do. Just cutting the stumps off flush and we'll put it in a pile and burn it next fall. We're using my uncle's 1135 Massey here to push. You got a pretty good real heavy duty loader on it which helps. But uh Vaco had a problem. The uh, something happened Tuesday, late Tuesday afternoon. My brother was pushing the pile and uh, didn't really hear a pop or anything. But he went to back up and it had a clunking in the rear end, and I think, I think it's something in the differential that was broke. And uh, so we're using the Massey here instead. Not quite as handy because it doesn't have shuttle shift and everything, but it's not too bad. Try not to get whacked in the face of branches. Kind of missed the cab on the back hill. Got a pretty nice dirt bucket on it, and it uh, really digs into the ground. Not so good for just pushing brush. Probably out of gas. Nope. Had a uh, real invasive mulberry trees is what we're cutting down, and then everything else is filled in these dang locust trees. They got thorns on them, you know, like that and everything, and it really sucks. So far this whole week, we've only suffered one flat tire, and it's just a slow leak. It'll stay up for a couple hours. It's one of the front ones on this tractor. And that mold, or the locust is really hard wood. I think the hedge wood is about the only thing that's harder than locusts and it just cuts hard and everything else is heavy.
Don't even think about taking that for firewood. Oh. Dad pastor at his church had come out and got a uh, small pickup load of firewood yesterday and he was going to split it with an axe. That's what they're doing is cutting them out of chopping blocks right there. The locusts will work good for that. That's the only firewood. Come on. I'm going to rev that thing up and get the hydraulics working. Can't waste time getting fire, much firewood out of this. I mean, there's a lot of firewood we could have had here, but it just takes too long to cut it out. You don't get any clearing done, and we don't have issues with getting firewood, so just cut it up a little bit so it crushes together. fast enough from them. It makes them a lot easier to cut for them running the saw. Get a lot more done that way. I'll tell you, we've never talked about getting an excavator more than we have this week, though. <laughs> we don't like to have one. We don't have a semi to hold around on and We'd have to... Now we got, now I mean, we keep it busy. We got a fair amount of fence rows, but... Finally got her all cut. There's pile number two. 
dad and my brother cutting off the last couple fence posts that trees had grown up around and we couldn't get them pulled out because the tree had grown around them and just wouldn't pull them out. Had to cut them off and let them rust, rust away in the ground. This is a pretty nasty pile here. There's a big old bunch of locust trees right here and we just fold them right in the middle of it and then pushed everything up around them. Come back and burn them. Man, them trees are nasty. And here's the first pile we started with Monday. Had a couple short days, but uh, if it worked a uh, full eight hours on, I had a couple setbacks like backhoe back broke down and whatnot. If it worked four eight hour days, because three of us could have made those four piles. But glad that job's done, so thanks for watching.